Hello everybody and welcome back to another artist vlog. So today is Sunday and as you can tell I've been having a pretty chill morning hanging out in my gown. Um, but I am going to be getting a little bit of work done today in preparation for Tuesday's live stream. So yesterday I did pick up some fixative. This one's by Jay Burrows. It was the only one that I could find at Officeworks. Um, it's workable fixative which it doesn't really matter for me because I am painting over it. Um, but yeah, I got that one. It'll do the job. Um, so I'm going to spray the drawing on the canvas, let that dry for a bit. Um, and then I'm going to do a thin wash of acrylic paint over that. And I will show you guys when I do that. By the way, if you're wondering, yes, that is a DIY green screen. I was using it to... Um, live stream yesterday during a gaming stream and it went really well um but yeah you may be wondering why there's some green t-shirts behind me that is why it's quite windy today so it's a bit difficult trying to do this because the spray is just going everywhere but I'm going to let it sit for a little bit and then I'm going to do another coat. Looks like I've applied enough. That doesn't seem to be smudging. So now I can apply the thin layer of acrylic paint. The water might make it smudge a little bit, but it should be um, in place enough that it's not going to move around too much. So I put out way too much acrylic paint and because this one is like a squirty bottle I can't put the paint back in it. So I think I'm just going to cover this with some Glad Wrap and then I'll try to use it on Tuesday for something. Um, yeah just because I don't want to waste it. Good morning everyone, so today is Tuesday and I'm about to start a live stream so I will speak to you all once I'm done. The live stream is now over and it went really well. I had a lot of people chatting for most of the stream and I also gained one subscriber which is really exciting. Basically on Twitch, subscribing is something that you have to pay for. Um, so it's different to on YouTube where on YouTube subscribing is for free. On Twitch, following is the free one and subscribing is the paid one. So subscribers don't happen very often for me, but just because my Twitch channel is very small, I don't have many people on there. I mean, it's a very small community, but it is a really nice community. So if you want to come join us, feel free to do so. You can just find me at mxmurray on Twitch. Um, so yeah, if you want to like watch me create art live, I generally stream at the same time every week. So at the moment it is Tuesdays at 10 a.m. If you don't know what time that is in your time zone, if you actually go to my Twitch channel, I've got a thing on there that shows you the times in your time zone. So that might be a bit easier. Um, but yeah, even if you want to watch me play video games live, you can give me a follow on there. I would really appreciate it. I'm really loving the whole twitch thing um so yeah hopefully i can do more live streams but at the moment i do two a week and that seems to work okay so um 
So yeah, that's going really well. And I also got a decent amount of work done on my Stardew Valley painting. So I will show you guys a closer look. Here is the progress. So basically I painted over the, um, the drawing with a dark purpley color just so it would stand out more because when I start painting in just other colors, I don't want to lose those lines too much because I am going to keep the line work with this piece. I think um, it's just something that I like to do. I chose to do a dark purple color for the lines and the shadows just because with the official Stardew Valley art, a lot of the shadows are like a dark purple or they've got kind of purple tones to it. So by using the purple on here, it'll give a nice undertone to the painting and I mean, I might even make the line work a very dark purple in the end, but even if I don't, it still has that kind of purple undertone for the shadows, um, which is what I'm going for. So that's why I chose that color. And that's pretty much it. I'm really happy with how it's turning out. Um, I'm really excited to start putting actual color down. I will probably start on the background first and then probably work on each character individually, just because that'll make live streaming it and filming it a lot easier rather than having to move the camera around all the time. I can just, you know, like zoom in on a character and then just work on them until they're finished. So I think that's going to be my approach. But yeah, here's the progress so far and I'm really happy with how it's looking. What is it, Agatha? It's just the heater. Look at her front legs. They look so funny. You're being such a good girl, Agatha. I like how she flicks her tail when she knows she's being spoken to. Hmm? Being such a good girl in front of the heater. I didn't have her in here during the live stream, but I let her in afterwards. And she's being very well behaved. How awesome are these paintbrushes? I got them probably like a few months ago now from Kmart. They were super cheap. I still haven't opened them yet. I don't know why. I probably should do that. But they definitely caught my eye. They're just very colourful. And I actually need a paintbrush like for the size of the green one. It's a very like thin paintbrush. And the others, I mean, like I'll just use them anyway. But to be honest, it, w it was the colours that... <laughs> They got my attention and they're very cheap and I was like, you know what? These look awesome. I need to get them. Should I open them now? I think I will. I feel it's also very appropriate to be using a Vegemite jar for my water. It's actually a really good size, but definitely, uh, definitely shows that I'm Australian. How awesome are these paintbrushes? I'm very excited to start using them. And it's actually cool that it's like the bristles aren't white, like a lot of paintbrushes are. So it's like, it doesn't matter if you stain them. I mean, this one here will probably get stained, but these two are very dark, so it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna post this on both my just standard vlog and my art vlog, just because it is relevant to both of them. Um, but this morning I got a notification on Instagram saying that someone had mentioned me in their Instagram story. So I was like, I wonder, I wonder who did that. So I checked it out. Turns out the very successful YouTuber Candy Johnson had reposted the drawing that I made of her from 2016 to her Instagram story and she tagged me in it. And I don't know why she posted it um, today, even though it is an older drawing, but I don't mind, it's fantastic exposure for me because she has like almost 2 million followers on Instagram so a lot of people probably would have seen that. Um, so I'm not questioning it but that was very very nice of her. I wasn't expecting it at all, it was very very random. Um, I did respond to her by direct message saying thank you and she did respond back to me which was really cool. Um, so yeah, that happened this morning, I can't believe I totally forgot until now but yeah. That happened and it was very, very cool. I had a pretty late lunch today and since then I've just been doing lots of video editing so I haven't really been able to vlog anything but I think I'm going to wrap my day up here just because it is getting quite late and I feel like I've had a very productive day 
There was some other things that I wanted to work on today, but this just means I'll have time to work on them tomorrow. Like, I was going to do video editing tomorrow, but I decided to do it today instead, so... It all works out in the end, um, but I think I'm going to wrap it up here for today. So I will see you all tomorrow. Hey everyone, so today there's a couple of things I want to get done. The main thing is I want to design my tier 2 and tier 3 Twitch subscriber emotes because I haven't made them yet and I mean nobody is subscribed to those ones at all but I still want to make them and have them there on my channel so that people know what they're getting if they do want to subscribe to tier 2 or 3. So I want to work on that and I'm hoping to also edit the video for those because I don't think they're going to take too long to make um, and that means that'll be like the video for this weekend. Um, if that doesn't work out then I do have a backup. I could also film a sketchbook tour from the last week. So if I do do that, I will need to draw more in the sketchbook because I haven't really done much and even if I'm not filming that video, I still want to get some more drawings done for that because that's going to be a video regardless of if it's this week or next week. And I also need to make some stuff for my um, patrons on Patreon and there's a couple of things I want to do in regards to my YouTube channel and Twitch account. So I've got a lot of little things to do today, so that should keep me pretty busy. I've decided to make this the colouring page for my patrons for August and I'm just about to scan in some artwork that I'm going to turn into the wallpaper for August. I thought I had a high quality scan of this piece of art but I can't seem to find one anywhere so maybe I don't. Um, so I'm going to scan it in and touch it up in Photoshop to turn into the wallpaper. Here is the thumbnail for the video. I'm somewhat happy with it. I feel like it could be better, but I just don't have the time to keep working on it. So this will do, and this video will be going up before this vlog. So if you haven't checked it out, I'd appreciate it if you could, because my newer videos could definitely do with more views. Um, and you can also follow me on Twitch. So I decided to change my tier one emote. It is still pending because the emotes take a while um, they have to like manually approve them so it might take a couple of days for that to actually go through but I've done that and I also uploaded the sub badges so I am going to be using my cat skull for that instead just because I feel like it works better for a sub badge like you can't really use that emote for like anything like like a certain occasion or anything and I feel like the other one, which is like love themed, works so much better and that's going to be more like universally used. So yeah, I changed those. So now I need to design three more badges, which will be variations of the cat skull. And I also need to make two more emotes, which I'm not entirely sure what they're going to be yet, but I'll, um, I'll work on them over the next couple of weeks. My workday is finally over. I got pretty much everything done on my to-do list. The only thing I didn't get done was drawing in my sketchbook and that's okay. That was like only there if I had extra time to do so, but I don't. I'm, uh, I'm pretty exhausted. Maybe I'll draw in my sketchbook tonight at some point, but it doesn't really matter. I can, um, I can do more drawings in it later on you know, on a different day. But yes, anyway, that is all from me today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this week's art vlog. 
hopefully I'll be back next week, but I am getting less time to work next week, so we will see. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, and I will see you all in my next video.